Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sunil and in this screencast together let's explore a CMS framework based on Django. Uh, so currently the screen which you see is an official website of uh, Wagtail content management system which is built on top of Django and as you can see like uh, it's a very intuitive and minimalist content management system which is developed on top of Django and if you scroll down on the website you see the people the organization which uh, uh, they are using the Wagtail framework Google, NASA, MIT, Mozilla, Oxfam, BMW, MNST, International, Royal College of Arts so this is just a few names which you see on the website apart from these names there are hundreds of uh, organizations across the globe they are using Wagtail and what uh, Wagtail uh, is known for is the simplicity and what I meant by simplicity is simplicity is can be measured in couple of ways like uh, uh, how the content can be added uh, in a very simple way uh, so the Wagtail has a lot of uh, custom built library where you can uh, add the different types of content whether it's the different title headers image or uh, Im uh, you know I mean different uh, custom built uh, uh, requirement and then uh, it's all about the user experience so when you c when it comes to the user experience so you can see like if you would like to have uh, how the website is performing or let's say uh, how the users are browsing on the page and what is the time uh, and all uh, conversion rate all etc so you can just uh, uh, integrate there are a lot of modules are there which is developed on Wagtail uh, and the community are very active uh, when it comes to the Wagtail content management system and then there are a lot of other features are also there uh, like uh, elastic search custom form builder image cropping let's say if you would like to crop the certain part of image to put it on website so you can just do the do, do through image cropping there are there is something called explorer let's say on the left hand side you will have a menu option which you can click and you can just explore like the sub menus uh, elastic search uh, is one of the very useful uh, uh, features in Wagtail and like we uh, discuss a stream field so a stream field where uh, this is very intuitive where if you would like to have the s2 s3 s4 however in the recent development of Wagtail even this has been improved uh, in many ways right so uh, like I mentioned uh, Wagtail is a content management system it's a CMS library which is built on top of Django and we need to discuss like how Wagtail is unique from the other content management system so let's say that on the Django also there are uh, many CMS libraries are there if you're talking about the PHP even there are many more like uh, Drupal, WordPress if you're talking about the any language, uh, any uh, framework, there are so many CMS uh, are available in the market. Uh, what usually inspired me of Wagtail is like uh, the you can uh, customize it the way you want. Number one, number two, uh, you don't have uh, uh, you know I mean you you don't have to deal with the huge code actually. You know you have to write only that much amount of code which uh, is required for your project what I meant by that is it's very minimalist uh, third is you have the complete control on the back end and the front end so let's say you would like to have uh, uh, you know I mean you you you'd like to represent your content image or text in a certain way uh, you have the complete control uh, in the back end let's say you would like to behave the uh, website in a certain way in the back end uh, you can do whatever you want right so this is the uniqueness that uh, you know from my point of view uh, we have in the walk till 
and like I said, uh, Wagtail is a complete uh, open source content management system. Nescode, uh, at Nescode, we are using Wagtail CMS uh, since long time. Uh, I mean, we have developed more than hundreds of websites on Wagtail CMS. Uh, I mean, website with the five page or 500 page, we have developed, we have did many work on Wagtail. Uh, and if you browse through uh, the developer section of Wagtail, you have a very uh, simple way of uh, starting with the Wagtail content management system. So what we are going to do here is, let us start with uh, uh, the Wagtail uh, uh, in terms of setting up a project or and in terms of running a project, right? So, but before uh, we set up a project, we would like to uh, give you some overview of uh, something more. Like if you go to the Wikipedia of the Wagtail CMS, you can use, you can see like, you know, who are the uh, big organization they are using the content management, I mean Wagtail CMS. And uh, so there are the few names like big, big brands, they are using the Wagtail CMS. And then if you browse through madewithwagtail.org, so this website uh, usually you will have the repository of uh, uh, so many great websites which is developed on Wagtail. So you can see the brand, you know, they have been using Wagtail since long time. So and, and there are thousands of websites, uh, thousands of developers across the globe, they have uh, developed it uh, and they are developing and they are just putting the Wagtail website here to showcase their work right so if you would like to develop something and showcase to the world feel free to uh, submit your site and the torch box the company behind walktail and the walktail community they would be happy to uh, approve your site to display um, on made with walktail right so now let us start with uh, how we can uh, start with the walktail cms so what I'm going to do here is I'm opening my terminal and going to so I'm saying I'm just creating one directory here so let's give the directory name as Wagtail demo and cd into Wagtail demo and let's create first uh, virtual environment so we are so i'm saying python 3 dash m and this is going to create a virtual environment within that folder so if you do uh, ls you will see the vnv folder name and this uh, vnv folder is coming because i have kept the name of the virtual environment vnv now let's activate uh, this virtual environment uh, by giving the command source uh, vnv bin activate this command uh, will work in uh, mac as well as linux only uh, in windows uh, simply you have to give the virtual environment folder name uh, script and activate uh, since we are using mac here so we will be using this command now uh, once your virtual environment is activated you have to install the Wagtail library using the pip uh, make sure like you are not uh, installing the Wagtail library in the global environment you have to install within your virtual environment itself so i'm saying here pip install Wagtail so moment you do pip install Wagtail this will install the Wagtail framework django uh, framework and there are a lot of other libraries also like pillow uh, there are a lot of other uh, beautiful soup and the Django REST framework, PYTZ, SIX and uh, there are a lot of target and a lot of uh, library to be installed which is useful for your uh, website development. So once this uh, library uh, got installed then uh, what you have to do is you have to start a work till uh, project so how to start the Wagtail project is as you can see in the documentation here Wagtail start and the proj uh, project name 
Uh, so what we are going to do here is since I have created a uh, folder here called Volatile Demo, so I'm going to consider the same folder as the project folder. So let's let's create uh, the project by giving a command called Volatile Start Volatile Demo Space Dot. Uh, you know, just like the uh, just like the documentation, you you don't have to use the space, but this will create the another folder again. So what I'm like I said, uh, I'm going to use the same uh, folder as the project folder. That's why uh, I'm using here a space dot. So moment uh, you give this command and then you do the ls. Uh, this has this command has created certain files and folder within the project folder called Wagtail demo, right? Uh, now what you have to do is uh, you have to install let's say if any library which you have missed out so there is a requirement .txt you can install those uh, required uh, library using this file so you need to do pip install dash r requirement .txt within the virtual environment so as you can see everything has been already installed and satisfied uh, now let's go to the next command called python manage.py migrate so moment you do this uh, command this is going to uh, create a database with the default db called sqlite3 right so as you can see uh, the db.sqlite which is a file based database that has been created and now uh, you can create the super user also so you can say python manage.py create super user uh, give the username so let's say i'm giving a username called nescode i'm giving a email id i'm giving the password now my super user has been uh, created now you can run the server now uh, if you run the server and go uh, to the local host with 8000 port you will have a beautiful and minimalist uh, website up and running now if you go forward slash admin here and this will give you an option to log in uh, into the admin panel and uh, your admin panel is ready like i said uh, this uh, CMS framework is built on top of Django itself. Uh, so you will have all the features of Django which you are using in the plain vanilla Django. So as you can see on the top, uh, which is uh, one uh, logo of the Wagtail. And if you want, you can customize this. There is a uh, provision in this screencast. We will be uh, also exploring like how we can customize this logo for your uh, own project now if you go uh, inside the page section you will have uh, one page currently called home and home page is considered as the root page uh, in Wagtail so whatever you will be creating the new page you have to create uh, within the home page itself then if you go to the image section so here you can upload uh, the image which is required for your project so you can simply say add an image and you can select the image whatever image you like so let's say I'm uploading this image and and saying upload so now if you go to the image section you have one image right so like this you can add the different different image now let's say uh, if you are going inside the document section inside the document let's say if you have certain uh, requirement for the document uh, for that project let's say PDF or doc uh, so you can go and uh, upload uh, the document so let's say I'm uploading one document here right so now if you go inside the document section you have uh, uh, one document if you go to the settings section you have the users uh, you can see the number of users which is available in the Wagtail and if you would like to add the new users you can add the new new users here so let's say I'm saying here uh, Wagtail demo Wagtail demo at gmail.com 
this is a fake uh, email address so don't send any email on this wartool demo I'm just giving one password and simply you create a uh, user now here you have to give the permission so let's say if you want this user to be the moderator or editor or both or administrator so you can give this permission so you can say add user so your user has been added here and uh, if you go inside the group section you can make uh, the new group and you can add the respective user in that group right uh, again if you go to the sites uh, Wagtail has the facility of having the multiple site within a project so you can create multiple sites and you can run multiple sites on multiple domain name so those uh, features are, are already available in Wagtail now uh, if you go to the collection so if you just would like to add some collections and all you can just add it here and if you would like to redirect uh, you know so redirect features is also available if you go uh, bottom left you have the account settings for the respective users you can click on that and you can see you can change your profile pictures you can change your email password notification preferences uh, if you have developed the site in a multiple language uh, you have the language preference also you have the time zone you have to ch you can change your name uh, obviously you can change this all these settings from the back end also you can go to the settings.py and you can change the language time zone etc right now uh, if you would like to explore uh, uh, the code uh, behind this so what we are going to do here is let's go to the code and uh, we have given the name called Wagtail Demo. So this is the folder, right? So you can go to the Wagtail Demo section and you can go to the base.py. So this is the settings.py, uh, uh, base.py and uh, all the apps which is installed. Uh, and the settings.py in Wagtail has been uh, categorized into three different files like base.py and for development you have the dev.py and for the production you have production.py dev.py is essentially uh, meant for the local development uh, like you say like you say see here there is a settings.py and you have the database settings here also and these database settings let's say if you would like to have it for the local development let's say your own system user id and password for whatever the data database you are using you can put it inside the dev.py and you can exclude uh, by entering that into uh, dot git ignore now uh, if you go to the templates you have the default couple of files like 404 uh, 50.html and base.html uh, these are the default files you have uh, and then you have one uh, app called home app which is basically uh, where you can just add uh, your custom models uh, templates and all sort of thing within this home app so you have uh, welcome underscore page dot html so currently whatever the page uh, you are viewing here so that page is coming because of uh, uh, this file itself welcome underscore page right so if you uh, are customizing this uh, essentially you can delete this you can use the home underscore page dot html uh, there are so many uh, uh, things are there in Wagtail like you know let's say if you are creating a uh, html page uh, so you have to use let's say if you have a space you have to give underscore not dash so there are these are the uh, conventions uh, Wagtail are using so let's say if you would like to explore the convention that Wagtail is using you can go uh, to the document uh, uh, section of Wagtail you can also click here or if you're going through the uh, official website of Wagtail you can top right corner you have the documentation section um, you can explore the documentation here right and using this documentation uh, you can customize your site the way you want right 
thank you so much once again for watching this screencast in the next screencast we will be developing one uh, blog application using Wagtail. thank you so much